Hey everyone, good morning. And I'm here with Arthur or Arthur. 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 <laughs> in his parents' house. Hi. Which is super beautiful. In Blotsheim. Yes. Which is a super tiny town. How many inhabitants has Blotsheim? I think about 5,000 maybe. 6,000. <laughs> it's like my hometown, it's the same size. Yeah. And uh, the cool thing is that it's at the border with uh, three countries. It's France, Germany and Switzerland, but it's in the French territory, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. We still have no idea what we're gonna do actually today, because uh, one thing we have to do, we have to shoot a video with him about his couch surfing experience, because he just started couch surfing. And I want to shoot a video because he has an interesting story about how he started. But other than that, we don't know yet. We have to figure it out. Yeah. Now we're, we're going to have breakfast at... What time is it? Oh, uh, 11, 11. Uh, a.m. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we both overslept. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, we needed it, I think. Can you repeat it in video? <laughs> um, yeah, we have bees in the back of the garden since this year, so next year we will have honey. This is homemade jam, strawberry jam, mm -hmm. uh, by his father as well. With a bit of mint. Look at the color of this butter. <laughs> this is the color that butter should have. <laughs> it shouldn't be white, <laughs> like the Italian yeah. one or, or the American one. This is good quality, guys. This is how you compost in Europe, people. <laughs> right? <Yes. laughs> uh, here she's deer, yeah. I think. Yeah, the the female, the one with yeah, big, uh, the, the female, the female, female deer, and yeah. the and the kid, like uh, a small one, uh -huh. and they went through the the back. This one does compost, uh -huh. and uh, inside there there are worms. Uh, yeah. It's very easy to compost people and it doesn't have to stink because there are ways to control the moist that is inside the, um, the bucket. So even if you have a balcony or actually nowadays they, you can buy kind of buckets but they are electronic okay. and you can compost in your own kitchen. I didn't know that. We have a bucket but we have to wash it away. <laughs> no, 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 they are special ones like they, they have a special uh, sealing system or I don't know and they are a little bit expensive i think like a few hundred euros or something but it is possible ah, we'll look into that <laughs> and they're obviously smaller so they just stay on the counter of your kitchen really the bees now, even if it's winter, there are bees inside? Yeah, they're inside. They're just uh, sleeping and uh, eating their own honey. But in the summer, you see uh, hundreds of them coming out and in uh, at every time. It's like a, a, a small uh, cloud of bees. Yeah, it's, it's like us fun, humans. So. Yeah. <laughs> we go out. Oh, here's one. Yeah. Here's two. <laughs> what tree is what but they all have fruits Artu says these trees in the garden walnuts <laughs> kiwi oh my god <laughs> Why is that? Because it wasn't warm enough? Not for long enough. Oh, okay. 
Okay. And uh, other things like because of the barbecue we uh, roasted a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's Arthur, Arthur's house. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> We just came back from a little walk walk where we also shot a video about couch surfing with Ortu. Or <laughs> <laughs> My French pronunciation is horrible. Um, and now it's very sunny today, it's a very nice day and tomorrow it's gonna rain. So we decided that we are gonna take a bike tour. Yeah. And it's gonna be a very exciting one because he's gonna take me to the um, a uh, point where three borders of three different countries encounter. Yeah, uh, French, uh, France, Germany and Switzerland uh, meet at this point. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a small bridge for pedestrians and we're going to go there. There's a nice view over the Rhine. Uh -huh. yeah. and I love that. I you can wait. see the difference between the French and the German side and uh, look to the Swiss side, look to Basel. Mm -hmm. So you can really see the contrast of the, the three countries there. I'm very interested because I come from a region where um, it's also on at the border with three countries, Italy, Austria and Slovenia. But this point where the borders encounter is actually on top of a mountain. Okay. So it's very scenographic. It's a wonderful landscape mm. and everything, but you cannot really see the, the urban, urbanized landscape. So. Yeah. I'm very excited. Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. It's yeah. Half an hour by bike. <laughs> That is France, right? Yeah, that's France. 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 <laughs> that's Germany. That's Germany and that's Switzerland. And back to France. And back to France. <laughs> the, the big chimneys are in uh, Basel. Okay. Yeah. Is the industrial area of Basel? Yeah. There is uh, a lot of uh, pharmaceutical industries in the uh. area. You were talking about earlier, yes. I mean yesterday I asked you about the difference between France, France and Germany. Yeah. Uh, if there, the reason, I mean not if there is any different, but if you can see it in these areas that are very close to the border with each other. Yeah, um, I think the park here uh, would be a good example. We don't have uh, parks like that in France, okay. not that many. Um, and Switzerland, well, I guess it's only because uh, it's Basel, so it's a big city compared to uh, the smaller ones in France and Germany in the region. So that's Weil am Rhein. Uh, if you go there, uh, you can see the architecture is more German, and uh, well, in France, it's the French ar architecture, and you can really see a difference. Uh, actually, it's uh, more than only the ar architecture, it's also some kind of feeling. This kind of monument looks like a rocket is where the three borders encounter. 
the German architecture is more uh, straight, it seems more uh, clean um, and uh, more um, tranquil, I'd say. I like yeah. the adjective. <laughs> tranquil. tranquil. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, the French is uh, a bit more messy, I'd say. What about the Swiss population? Uh, this mysterious country that is Swiss. Switzerland, that is, yeah. Uh, yeah, Switzerland. Um, as you might know, probably both French and Fran Fra France. France. France and Germany are part of the European Union, whereas Switzerland is not. Switzerland has always wanted to be very autonomous and independent. They have their own business, neutral. their own things. They want to be neutral. As you know from the world wars, they've always been neutral. Yes. Uh, well, it's kind of a mysterious country, at least for me. Uh, at least they're in Schengen, so you can cross the border uh, and there are no uh, regular controls, only sometimes. Only sometimes. actual border because I'm, sh oh. I'm sure some of my viewers who are not European are gonna be surprised that there there is no border I mean as you can see it's just the uh, pedestrian bridge yes. so there is no frontier not border there is no frontier there are there is no police nobody checking your documents well uh, with the car there are still the the old buildings but you can just drive through it's a bit slower yes exactly. sometimes there are a few controls but uh, it's mm -hmm. only for show let's say and uh, because of some uh, drug concerns yeah, yeah yeah exactly and this bridge is obviously new right so yeah. they probably built it after they the Schengen Act. yeah it... yeah they freed the board what was that 2001 i think so I was 11 and it was a, a huge event in Europe because okay. I live in, in um, my hometown is next to Slovenia and Austria but especially in Slovenia at the border you have cities so it was really a big deal and I remember the press like the prime minister uh, came to this very small city at the border with Slovenia and there was a big celebration and they just opened everything it was such a I mean, I was only 11, but I remember this feeling of being, I don't know, united with all uh, these other foreigner people who are still Europeans, who are still, I mean, we're, we are all the same people. It's just we, we have different cultures, but we kind of feel yeah. uh, belonging. Yeah, to, connected. Yeah. yeah, connected. In some way, yeah. Okay, let's go to Germany.
airport of Basel, Mulus and Freiburg is called Euro Airport. want to ask something to Arthur because there are these very beautiful traditional houses in the whole Elsass. These are the uh, traditional houses in Elsass. Uh, there's about the same style in a few different places in France and in Germany as well. They're called uh, Maison à Colombage and uh, Colombage means the uh, logs that uh, make the structure. And uh, yeah, they're uh, really good uh, structurally because uh, at the time uh, it was one very good solution to um, have a structure that's um, elastic enough to sustain uh, earthquakes. And uh, here in the region we have a few sometimes. And at one period, I don't remember exactly when, um, Basel was totally destroyed uh, by an earthquake. And uh, between the logs, um, it's uh, a mixture of hay, uh, clay and dirt, um, uh, some kind of thatching I, I'd say. It's called uh, la ourde in French and uh, it's quite thick so it's a, a good isolation um, and uh, works very well in the cold winter and the hot summer. Tonight I'm gonna cook dinner and we are grocery shopping now. We are buying Le Vin. Du vin. Du vin, some wine. Le vin means du the vin. wine. Okay. <laughs> I asked him to teach me some French. <laughs> but I'm not very good at French, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna make a risotto tonight. I like to make risotto very much. I'm gonna use some vegetables and some speck. Or le, le spack. <laughs> le lach. Spack is a uh, is <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> but I, I like to use the dialect. <laughs> it's the dialect word for speck. Elsässig. <laughs> Elsässig. Elsässig. I don't know how to speak it. <laughs> so we, we have a problem with, uh, with too many languages, me and, and Orthur. <laughs> <laughs> you can say Arthur, it's okay. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> poor. You should make have like a... Um, international name for me you know like Chinese people do you know the yeah, Chinese yeah, yeah. people when they come here <laughs> they are called like Tom and that's so funny Tiffany <laughs> yes <so> funny. <laughs> but because they are so annoyed by us trying to pronounce their names yeah. so you should find a surrogate name for nope. just for me <laughs> <laughs> and this is the brand of jam Bon Maman which is French and is the best jam in the entire world 
I'm talking about commercial jam, obviously. me for breakfast just because I prepared dinner yesterday <laughs> and this is a very typical German breakfast we went to a place in Germany yeah let's get to work Alsatian food for lunch, right? <laughs> Is it typical from the region? Uh, yeah, it's called Boucherin. It's uh, like this crust with uh, sauce inside and uh, Spätzle with it. Okay. <laughs> So do you usually have a sweet breakfast? Yes, usually yes, here. That's French, right? Because mm -hmm. Germans usually have uh, cheese and, I don't know, meat. Yeah, yeah, cheese and, uh, and ham and things like that. And also they eat um, eier, uh, the, the eggs. Yeah. Like half boiled or something. Uh, yeah. Like French eat eggs as well, but uh, less cooked. A la coque. A la coque. Right? Yes. How is that? Is it like the, the white is still remains soft? Yes. And then you okay. uh, dump the bread inside. Yeah, right. Mm, that's good. Oh, this is still fun. Right. Okay, now, now I want to ask you uh, to ask Tamta. Now I want to ask Tamsa... Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> 